Got another unboxing and tool review on this um, Span RC portable tire inflator. And uh, I don't have a monitor set up on my camera, so it's, I'm not going to be real good on keeping this centered. I'm going to try keeping this in the in the view there because I'm pretty busy and don't have time to set a bunch of stuff up right at the moment. So let's uh, open this thing up and see what we got. Look, I got dirty hands already. And my uh, my little Ford Ranger pickup is in the driveway and it's got a couple of low tires on it already. So I'm going to see what this thing, this is a model 2000, it says model Sandy 2000, it says right there, trying to uh, get that in the camera there, and uh, they sent this to me and asked me to do a, a video, let me see, how, I guess this slide, there we go, it slides out this way. Clean off my hands. Never say never. Okay, I may have to uh, pause this and read what's in here before I do anything. Warranty card. Got the camera off to my side on a uh, not a tripod but on a boom. So. I can try to uh, show what's in here. We'll find out what all is in here. Contents, battery level indicator, turning the thing on and off, detecting current pressure. I didn't know this thing would read your pressure. That's a good. That's a good uh, function. So it has char USB charging cable and, and I guess a little charger. It says it has a charger. We'll see. Needle valve adapter for filling up balls. Uh, and a storage bag. So we'll see what all is in here. And then um, read this thing. Add this to the video later. Right now let's see what's in here. And if this will... Um, do anything right now because it might man that is a little that's good if it doesn't take up a lot of room I did a video recently on their um, jump starter and I was impressed so here's the carry bag and here's your little thing so it does have a little USB charger here I thought I saw 20 amps on that uh, thing, I know it's not 20 amps, it might be 2 amps. Thought I saw 20 in the book. Man, that's, that is tiny to read. Output half volt 3 amps, 3.0 amps. So that's good. Or at 9 volts, it's 2.2 amps. I don't know how I can put out half of, I mean, 5 volts or two, or uh, 9 volts. I don't know how it's going to do that. Well, I guess maybe this plug has different voltages coming out of it. I don't know. So it's got one of these plugs. Looks like it's the same on both ends. So you plug that in the wall and then charge it up. Let's see what else do we find here. 20 watt in output. And it's got a USB out um, as well. So you can plug a small USB item into that and charge off of it or if your phone or something. I pot or whatever you got is 
low you can charge off of it. Let's see what the battery does. Let's see if this thing even turns on. Let's check out this light button here. I guess you got to turn it on first. It comes on. I don't know what the battery level is yet. And they have to, oh, you have to hold the button on to get the light on. So the light has different functions. The SOS and the just the flashing and then just a direct flashlight. So um, as far as the power coming out of it, it looks like it's already charged up. Let me see what this does outside on the on the uh, tire that's low. Okay, uh, without reading any directions, just punching buttons. I am going to read the directions and do this properly, but I just wanted to try it out real quick. Um, just right out of the box. Okay, I screwed the hose into this. It screws in there. Pretty self-explanatory. It has a little O-ring seal right there. Just screw it into the, the end of that. And then I, uh, I checked the, the air with a, a, a gauge first to see what was in there. This tire calls for 44 pounds. You'll see that written embossed in this uh, lettering around the, the tire somewhere. I don't know if I've ever seen a tire that doesn't have uh, a pressure rating on it. It should be written on there somewhere. Uh, and so anyway, I checked it with a regular tire gauge and I'm showing a little over 20 pounds, like 22, 23 pounds, what the gauge is showing. I put this on there. You just shove this on all the way down and then you close the top on it. And then, uh, and then we'll do this on the workbench and show it in more detail then on the camera. I would push buttons around and when I tap this, uh, this, um, button here or was it this which one was it okay right now it's showing 22 pounds is what it says is in the tire and then and it shows a picture of a car down here and then I just I tap it again it shows a picture of a scooter or a motorcycle or something it looks it's not doesn't look like a real motorcycle it looks like a scooter then I tap it again it goes to a bicycle Tap it again, it goes to a ball. A, looks like a picture of a basketball. And each time it has a preset setting for how much air you want to put in it. So when I go to a setting right now, it's showing 22 pounds on the ball. I'm going to tap this gear again. Tap it two times and it goes back to a car. 22 pounds. Okay, if I hit the up or the positive button here, plus button and negative. Hit the pl plus button. It just keeps going up. 39 and a half, 40, 40 and a half, 41. And it goes in half increments, half pound increments, going to 45, uh, 45 pounds right now is what it's set at. Let's see what it does. And then I hit the power button again. Now I do have it on the car setting. Hit the power button again. And, and then it starts pumping. It's 22 and a half right now. 23. We'll just keep an eye on it. that sit for a while. Let's see if it automatically shuts off when it gets to 44. Okay, uh, 
Shut off at 44 and a half pounds. I, that's what I think I had it set at. And the uh, timer, six and a half minutes, but I, I had, I didn't start the timer. It was like 28 pounds when I started the timer. So it's not fast, but look how small it is. It's compact. This little small thing here weighs two, three pounds, maybe three pounds, and it, uh, it's got a compressor and a battery in there. And then it's got these automatic features on there, so like if it's raining or something, or real cold, you could set this thing up out of the way someplace, or try to, or put it something over it. I don't know if the rain would hurt it or not, um, but anyway, it, it, obviously you can use this thing right out of the box without reading the directions. I'm not real tech savvy, and I I did it. I just pushed buttons to see what it did, and uh, let me read the directions, and then we'll do a, another uh, little piece of video after this. Okay, we're going to go through, I'm not going to go through all the details on this, just um, what it shows right here on this page, it uh, shows what your different things are on there, you just have to freeze the video and and uh, and look at these, but um, get to the next page here, okay. Here's the little pieces that it comes with. And uh, the battery level, after filling that tire from 23 pounds to 44 pounds, I, I got three bars on the battery indicator and um, it says it's 50 to 75 percent with three bars so of course the more pressure you put that means the harder the motor has to work to uh to pump air so and my fingers are dirty again dog on it i don't want to get this little book dirty Turning it on needs one and a half seconds to press that button on. Let's see over here charging. If you want to read this, you can freeze the video and, and read that. So it shows, uh, I'm not going to read that because it make the video take too long. You just have to freeze the video and look at these things on this pages
Not gonna look at safety. Well, we can. It does show things about storing it, temperatures and whatnot. Pressure conversions over here on this. So, um, these are little fittings it comes with. These, these black ones, I'm going to say that they are for like air mattresses and inflatable boats and things like that. And of course, this one is for balls, basketball, volleyball, football, whatever. And I have no clue what this one is. And then it gives you a couple extra O-rings. So, um, the functions, obviously, are uh, pretty kind of self-explanatory for the most part. You just push the power button on, hold it for a few seconds. My battery indicator is these little bars on top. We got three left. And then, uh, and right now it's on the basketball mode. So we press the gear button down here, and it goes to the car mode, and then press the gear button again. Well, we got to do it twice, and then you get that little scooter picture there. Press it twice again, bicycle. Looks like when you hit it once, it goes to uh, the preset pressure setting and then you can uh, let's see if we can change that pressure setting yeah yeah I just I'm hitting the up button here the plus button I don't know what my bicycle tires hold I don't have time to use it anymore Anyway, go back to the gear button, and it goes to the the ball, and it shows you that it's already preset at eight pounds. And then the light, um, the thing has to be turned on for the light to work. You press the light button, you got to hold it, and then it comes on. And then, of course, each time you hit it, it changes modes. It goes to a straight flashing. And you, Hit it again and it goes to the SOS mode. Hold it down for a second or two and then it shuts off. But the button, power button has to be on for that to work. So, very, very handy tool to have um, if, if you're on a bicycle. I mean, on a car, well, you can get these inflators that you plug into the lighter or clip onto the battery, and they, they'll work faster, of course, um, and they run off the car battery. But this thing has, has the battery in it for a USB, so all these modern electronic things charge off of stuff like this. So it's obviously a much bigger battery in there than your phone has or your tablet or whatever. So you can run that stuff off of this if you uh, if you're out and about and your battery runs down in your in your uh, gadget. And I think it's a great tool personally. And I know what I'm talking about when it comes to tools. I mean. Look at my shop, it's it's nothing but tools, nothing but tools everywhere, and that's just in here. I've got a lot more outside, and I've got trailers with tools in them. So, I'm glad they sent this to me. I, uh, I think this is a great tool to have for uh, going places when you uh, know that there may not be services around, like if you go on a camping thing or an outing or a picnic or something or you go to the beach or whatever you you know this is just great thing to have handy because it's small and compact and and um 
This thing cost about 80 bucks on Amazon, or it's down to 80 from, uh, I think it was 117 or 120, I think it was, is what it's showing on the, uh, on the ad at, at the time of this recording. Uh, t you know, prices are always changing. And they also have a package deal for, I think, $118 you can get this jump starter. Um, which I already did a video on and this tire inflator you can get both of those for I think it was 118 if I recall on the uh, Amazon ad and that's down from whatever so that's at the time of this recording uh, in um, February of 2023 this is what I bought new um, recently because this is what you call a USB letter C, ABC, okay? Letter C is what this um, um, wire is, and this adapter has the regular USB and the USB-C on it. And I bought um, a couple of these on Amazon. I can put a, a link up to that. So you can get one of these. This kit does not come with it. and. Um, I think a number of things are, are starting to go to this USB-C nowadays so it's um, it won't be only for this it can be for there's other things as well this pocket inside the bag is only about so long and this this uh, air pump battery doesn't um, go all the way down if you put it in, it fits in the pocket but it doesn't go all the way down and sticks out so I just stuck the hose in that pocket makes it easier to get that out and because uh, it, it the top of the pocket stays up near the top of the bag and so uh, I don't know what else I can say on this I think it is a very handy tool to have uh, because it's so compact uh, for a motorcycle uh, or for um, you know vacationing where you just don't want to take up the extra space with a larger air pump that um, yeah a bigger air pump that plugs in the lighter surely it'll fill the tires faster but it doesn't have its own battery in it and it's not uh, near as compact and of course this has you know your uh, your USB um, you can plug other things into it uh, phone if your phone's dead or whatever flashlight a lot of little handy things on here so I think it's a worthwhile tool to have all right that'd be the end of the video then thank you for watching